There are about a million people in the United States who have amputation, and uh, about 500,000 people need lower limb prosthetic devices. A majority of the devices on the commercial market are just shaped carbon fiber, and I think we can do a lot better, especially if you look at the technologies that are out in other fields of robotics. We use these tethered laboratory-based devices that are highly versatile. We call them prosthesis emulators. And they allow us to try lots of different designs without the overhead of making new hardware. It's kind of a test bed. So we have it hooked up to these very large off-board motors to ensure that we never run out of mechanical power. We have it connected to really powerful computers and all sorts of sensors to ensure that we never run out of signals. These are robotic prosthetic devices that can uh, sense the person's movement and the environment and then take corrective actions to help improve their balance or to propel them forward and make walking easier. We're using these as design tools so people can have the physical experience of interacting with some new device without having to build it. On experiment day, a participant will come in. If it's their first time in the lab, we'll have a licensed prosthetist fit them to our device. And then after that, we will walk them through a series of conditions so they'll just try to walk as normally as possible for about six minutes per condition. And while they're walking, we'll be recording a variety of, of measures, such as uh, motion capture or energy expenditure. So the prosthesis has sensors to tell where the toes and heel are in space, and sensors to tell how hard the toe is pushing on the ground. And an IMU here, that senses where the device is the lab space. So one of the things we're excited to do is translate what we find in the lab into lightweight and low power and therefore inexpensive devices that can be tested outside the lab. They're creative, they're uh, interesting, they're passionate, so that drives that sort of th same sort of sense in me. I, I enjoy working with the crew. Ultimately, down the line, I hope to benefit from you know maybe innovations they come up with. I think it you know eventually it ends up helping not just me but everybody else that's in my situation. For more, please visit us at stanford.edu.